Chapter 3, The Second Take After the loud confrontation between Evan and Sophia. Everyone's so shocked by her decision that you can almost hear a pin drop in the environmental lab. You're promoting me to head of the lab? Yes, now, I have things to do and money to make, so... Every eye turns to you as Sophia heads for the exit. But Anna's only been here a few months. Must be nice to have your future in laws own the company. Anna, you should probably say something. Um. Everything's gonna be okay. This wasn't how anyone imagined the day uh, going. I know you probably have questions. I know I do. But we'll adapt to this. Our team has the best people in the industry, so I know we'll pull together and make it work. Your colleagues give a smattering of applause, and tension in the room starts to dissipate as they return to work. Congratulations, Anna. I knew you'd make big moves here. Uh, well, we'll see. I still have some questions for Sophia, speaking of which. You dash out of lab to get some answers. Sophia, wait up. You can't just fire someone and then walk away. I didn't fire Evan, I demoted him, and as CEO I absolutely can. Sophia, what's your game? Why did you pick me to replace Evan? Usually people are excited to get promotion. You follow her on the elevator and she lets out an exasperated sigh as she realizes you aren't about to let this go. I'm running a company, Anna. I'm not going to let some petulant man-child stop me from making the right business decisions. The elevator door opens and you resolutely follow her in her office, formerly Sam's office. So tell me, are you the right decision? You are missing the point. No one's going to believe I'm the right person when you didn't even try to find someone else. How am I supposed to work with people who don't respect me? You're an annoyingly tenacious woman, Anna. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Now, I have a lot of work to do, as do you. HR will contact you by the end of the day. After a long day of reviewing Evan's neglected work, you head back to the penthouse to share the news with Sam. Hello, anybody home? Anna! Just in time. We were about to say goodnight. My favorite part of the day. Wait, uh, doesn't that mean you like when we're sleeping? No, no, you're just so peaceful. And yes, we like when you sleep. I like bedtime snuggles with my favorite twins. Do you even know any other twins? It doesn't matter, because you'll always be my favorites. The boys settle back into the reds and you kiss their foreheads. Good night, boys. Sleep well. This is a pleasant surprise. I didn't expect to see you tonight. Sam wraps her arms around you as you settle on the couch together and you lean in to meet her tender kiss. I've got some news, and I wanted to tell you in person. Is this good news? You seem serious. I'm not sure yet. Sophia promoted me to the head of the environmental lab today. What? Congratulations. That's great news. It is, but it's also complicated because of my co-workers. People were talking about us when I came in this morning. Even Charles and Kai were weird. Now I'm supposed to be everyone's boss after being on vacation for a month? Who would listen to me? She puts her arm around you and gives you a squeeze. You sigh, leaning your head against her shoulder. I get why you're conflicted. And I'm sorry for th how things happen, Anna. I'm proud of you. You've worked really hard, and you deserve to have that recognized. Thank you, Sam. But, enough about me. How was your day? Productive. This one-woman show is up and running, but is definitely not having the weight of Dalton Enterprises behind me. Maybe you should get a partner. It might help to have someone to bounce ideas off or split the workload, especially since we uh, haven't found a new uh, a nanny after Jordan. I don't think I'm ready for that quite yet. I feel like I need to prove myself as a solo artist first. Speaking of going solo, have you heard anything from Addison? Not since the cabin. The lawyers are figuring out how to get our money back to her between the boys' trust and life insurance payout. It sounds complicated. 
It is. Nothing can really happen until she's legally declared alive again. But it seems like she's staying true to her word and backing off for now. That's good news. I am hopefully that means she'll respect whatever decision you make about her being in the boys' lives. I hope so. I just want her or I just want things to go smoothly as possible for their sakes. To that point, I think we should hire Naya again to help us deal with this. After what happened last time. She fired us as clients, remember? I know things didn't go as planned when we were taking our relationship public, but she's still the best in the business. And honestly, I don't want Addison getting to her first. I think we need to be cautious. She was pretty controlling last time, and our lives are even more complicated now. That's true, but I think we can set boundaries in the contract. Our focus will be protecting Mason and Mickey from the media. In that case, if you think we should hire her, I'll back you. Great. I'll call her tomorrow and get the ball rolling. Sam kisses you again and you, uh, and her hand cupping your cheek. Whatever happens, we'll get through this, Hannah, together. A few days later, you and Sam head to Naya's office for your appointment. Welcome back, Anna, Sam. Hey. Long time no see. I wish we didn't need your help again, but I'm grateful to have it. She ushers you into the chairs in front of her desk as she settles behind it. First off, I owe you an apology for how I ended our last arrangement. You hired me to protect your love, and I failed you. Naya. Let's just focus on the future. That's all in the past now. I want to move forward with the clean slate. And our priorities aligned. In that case, let's get down to it. I've taken the liberty of drafting a media plan that should shield the boys from the worst of it, as requested. You don't waste any time, do you? In today's 24-hour news cycle, we can't afford to, which is why I booked you on the Mayra show later today. We need to get you your side of the story ASAP. That live daytime show, Anna, what do you think? I'm nervous to go on camera live. You'll be great. All you need to do is show the audience how much you love each other. That shouldn't be difficult. The focus here is on family, which is why I think Sam's parents should be there too, to show uh, people they're on your side. I'll call them right now. Sam retreats to the lobby and you turn to her, who offers you a small smile. You're a brave woman, Anna. If it were me... Yeah, if it were me or you, last time we uh, had this discussion, too, if you remember. She stops herself, suddenly seeming unsure. Well, never mind, it doesn't matter. If there's something on her mind, maybe I should press the subject. Her advice is usually pretty insightful. Really? Where were you last time when that advice failed you horribly? I know I was here. How about you? Ask her for her advice. What doesn't matter? You can tell me. I, well... Come on, don't you still value honesty? You were pretty insistent about it when I was the one holding back information. So take your own advice. I want your unfiltered opinion on all this craziness. Well, you got me there. She leans back in her chair and lets out a sigh. I was gonna say you're a braver woman than me because I'd be running for the hills if I were you. Seriously? No one would blame you. They might even applaud you for stepping aside. The wife returned from the dead. The family reunited. It's a compelling narrative. Yeah, something on Hallmark. Maybe, but... I can't just leave Sam and the boys. I love them. I would never walk away, especially after how hard I fought to get here. I want to spend the rest of my life with the three of them. I know you love him, but there isn't a version of this story that doesn't end in heartbreak for someone. Most likely you. You consider her words, but it's hard to fathom a future without Sam and the twins in it. Alternatively, you and Sam could elope. Um, how would that help? From an image standpoint, it wouldn't. 
you'd be eviscerated in the press. But it would make a, it a lot harder for Addison to make moves against you. She'd have fewer options. Well, I'm not leaving Sam, and I'm not letting Addison force us into a shotgun wedding. Why am I not surprised? Because you know me so well. So, what else you got for me? Well, you wouldn't budge on this because you care about Sam and the boys more than anything. So, when you're hounded by the press or when things get tough, uh, they will remember that you're doing this for them. That's it. So, thank God for this diamond choice, you know, because, oh man, we weren't going to do that shit already. Sometimes the best answer is a simple one. You love Sam, Mason, Mickey. Just keep bringing your answers back to them, and you'll be okay. I'll do that. Thanks. She nods and gives her a pra you give her a praising look, seeing her in a new light. I have to ask. Mm, have you ever been in love? I was once, years ago. He died. I'm sorry. I didn't realize. No need to apologize. I don't mind talking about him now. We met in college, but we were never really, uh, what you'd call serious. Too focused on our careers, never making each other the priority until he got his diagnosis. Did you tell him how you felt? I did, and we were together until he passed. I just wish I'd told him sooner. You let her confession hang between you and for a few moments, as if to honor the memory of her lost love. You know, it sounds like you really wouldn't leave if you were in my position. No, I guess I wouldn't. Maybe I was just trying to spare you the pain of losing someone like I did. But it might be too late for that. It was for me. Yeah, we're going to talk about this at the end of the video. You nod, feeling like you understand her a bit better. Thanks for the advice. Just then, Sam returns with a smile. It's settled. My parents will be there. Fantastic. I'll confirm everything with the studio and text you the details. Seriously, stay to the end of the video. That afternoon, you're waiting in the green room of the Mayra show while Sam meets her parents out front. Need anything, Anna? Water? Coffee? Coffee, please, for the love of God. I'm fine. No, you're not coffee. But can you... Tell me more about the host. You don't have to worry about uh, Mayra. She's doing this interview as a favor to the sorority sister. We went to college together. I briefed her on uh, what you're going through. She won't pull any punches, but she wants you to succeed, too. There's a knock on the door before the PA sticks her head in. Miss Schuler, we need you on the set in 10. Have you been through wardrobe? Uh, that's my cue. I got you something that's perfect for the interview. She grabs a garment bag off a rack and offers it to you. Oh, wow. I didn't know. Uh, I don't know who will love me in it more, the studio audience or Sam. Sage advice. The camera loves you, baby. Buy this item. Mmm. It's okay. I feel like I could host the show in this. You definitely look the part. But don't tell Mayra I said that. The PA walkie talkie chirps and she raises it to her ear to listen. Mayra's ready for you, Miss Schuler. Miss Dalton is already on set. You check the mirror one last time before you follow them out of the door. Your eyes go wide as you take in the lights, the audience, the onstage host. You find Sam in the wings as Mayra finishes her previous segment. But I doubled the cinnamon, added a pinch of nutmeg, and you know what? Divine! They're about to go to commercial, and then we'll be up. Sam takes in your new look from head to toe. Are you trying to sabotage the interview? You don't like it? I love it. That's the problem. How am I supposed to focus up there when all I can think about is you? Hmm, maybe that's what I want you to be thinking about. Where's your parents? In hair and makeup. Mayra wants to talk us to us alone first, so they'll join halfway through. The camera's cut, and a producer ushers you and Sam on stage. Mayra greets you with a warm smile as you get settled on the couch. Welcome to the Mayra Show! Thanks for having us, especially on such short notice. A yellow of light flashes, counting down to the return from commercial. Here we go. Deep breaths, everyone. You're going to do great. 
And welcome back. You may recognize today's guests from the tabloids, but we're here for the real story. Sam Dalton and Anna Schuler. thank you for joining me. It's a pleasure to be here, Mayra. Let's dive right in. Sam, you met Anna during your engagement to another woman, correct? That's correct. I'm not proud of the timing of everything, but I knew from the moment I met Anna that she's special. And Anna, did you feel the same? You remember her Naya's advice about focusing your answers on your love for Sam and the boys. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> it was kinda hot. Wow. It was a love at first sight. There was an undeniable spark between us. I knew it was meant to be from the start. So sweet. The heart wants what the heart wants, right, folks? But every love story has complications, which brings us to the elephant in the room. Addison Dalton, what really happened there? It's hard to believe, but our family thought we lost Addison five years ago. She was in a terrible subway crash in Midtown. Sam trails off, so you reach over to put your hand over hers. We know now that this was a tragic case of mistaken identity, but until she showed up last month, none of us had any idea she was still alive. Oh, I imagine that was quite a shock, to say the least. And Anna, this must be difficult for you, both as Sam's fiancé and having cared for her sons as their nanny. Honestly, it's not really my problem. <laughs> Technically not. Technically not, but a nightmare. Eh. I mean, I could go with either one if you really think about it. This is a woman that's literally, we're getting married, right? And hi, I'm the kid's parent and I'm back. Um, but I'll go with blessing. Let's just see. The twins get a second chance at knowing their biological mother. I'd say that's a gift, wouldn't you? I couldn't agree more. Children can never have too many people who love them in their lives. It just shows how much you two love those boys that you're putting their happiness first in what must be an uncomfortable situation. You truly have a modern family. Now, is there anything else you want to add before we take a little break, Anna? This is my chance to emphasize why I'm really doing this. I need to forget Addison and focus on the people who matter to me. I just want... I mean, either or could be a good answer, right? Like, you want to get back to normal lives, right? But, I mean, yeah, I get it. You want what's best for Mason and Mickey. If that means their mother and I are both in their lives, then we'll figure out how to make this happen. You're surprised to feel tears welling in your eyes. Sorry, I didn't expect to get so emotional. May Rachel reach us for a tissue, but Sam's already wiping the tears away with a pad of her thumb. Never apologize for how much you care about those boys. They're lucky to have you. I'm the lucky one. May returns and gives the audience a big smile. Don't you just love them? It's clear why Sam's so smitten. I don't know what I do to deserve her. Sam squeezes your hand and you smile at her. Well, I know I'm rooting for you both. We'll be back with Sam's parents right after this break. Stay with us. The audience cheers, claps as the producer cues May run that they're clear. <coughs> Great job, you two. Anyone who has was Team Addison will be reconsidering, I guarantee it. <sighs> Whatever. All it took was the truth. That and the fact you're amazing. As the break nears its end, Sam's parents join you on the set. This is so exciting. It's been forever since we've done a live interview. Hush, Viv. This is their moment, not ours. Thanks for coming. It means a lot to have your support. Well, actually... The producer counts you in from the break, cutting Vivian off. Welcome back. We're here with Sam Dalton and Anna Schuler to talk about their upcoming wedding. What a love story. Also, we're being joined by Mason and Vivian Dalton, billionaires, philanthropists, business icons, and Sam's parents. You forgot fantastic dancers. Thank you for having us, Mayra. How are you two feeling about all this? Your former daughter-in-law shows up just as Sam's about to get remarried. 
Of course, we're thrilled that Addison is alive. But we've also never seen Sam as happy as she's been since meeting Anna. That's because I've never been this as happy. Which is why we can't wait to host their engagement party next week. The audience applauds, but you and Sam share a shocked look, completely blindsided. Wait, the party's next week? That was it? Wow, super, super short chapter today. And again, it's almost like the creators of this book are running out of content for this. You'd think after three books, and now having this drama, you would think of something. Anyway, you should go watch Days of Our Lives, or Gone with the Wind, or something, I don't know. Um, so, you know what to do, uh, especially if you've been here more than two minutes. So, I'm going to go ahead and chime in on the following. The Diamond Choice, completely irrelevant, completely pointless. Um... I, I, I mean, honestly, let me know. Let me know what you guys feel. I, I think it's completely pointless. You, anyone who is real in a relationship is going to lean towards the person that you're loving and their children. That's common sense. Let's be honest. Um, next up is uh, losing someone. Yeah, no, save me that bullshit, Pixelberry. I get it, everybody's different. But loving someone is never wrong. Loving someone is never wrong. Um, in case you guys don't know this, TLDR. I had someone in my life that I, I, saw, I loved. I considered them a soulmate. And uh, unfortunately, they, they passed away in a, uh, a car accident. Yeah, there's a lot of pain. Let me, let me be real, especially when I first started talking about it. Um, back when it was Freshen and Caitlin and... Um, you know, that whole car accident then is when I talked about it. But in this case, um, I would never have changed anything because it was amazing the time we had together. I just wish it would have been longer. So it's been a while since that happened. I still seek love. I still seek someone in my life. Um, I seek to make every day of their life happy until whichever of us passes first. You know, I, I don't give up on love, even though my circumstances, why should you? Um, so that, in a way, poses a question to you. What would you do? Do you agree with Naya? Do you agree with me? Do you have your own, um, view on this? Let me know in the comment section below. Um, but yeah, that's about the, that, it, that's about it. So thank you all for watching. Oh, I love your beautiful faces. And, uh, I know I have a lot of work to do. Trust me. I'm trying to catch up. There's just so much in my life, you know? Um, and sometimes, you know, you get to procrastinate, right? I really wish I had the ability to do that. Um, and then sometimes you are just forced to focus on your real life. So yeah, I'll get the other content up as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Peace out.